G'day folks, this is Sim and welcome back to Farming Simulator or should we say welcome back to 7 Days to Die so as I mentioned in the last episode we need to get some stuff in place we need to get properly situated and one of the first things that we're going to need to do is get ourselves a regular supply of food so let's just clear out the surrounds and then we will get down to farming g'day Bob did I mention how much I hate you guys there you are thought I could hear somebody sneaking up on me and apparently that was not a headshot come on Bob Oh, you're kidding and we're off to our normal form and you oh they're everywhere oh that's right you've got to watch if you're firing from hip because it does actually shoot off to one side so let's just have a quick look at that see what I mean And is there anybody left around here? Crikey. All we want to do is a little bit of farming. Don't do the whole lean and weave thing on me. What else have we got around here? Okay, we might have had a little mini horde coming through from the looks of the numbers. Almost taken care of this mess. What day is it? Day 74, so we shouldn't have to worry about any particularly nasty hordes. can hear you. Oh, you're too fast. Yeah, there you are. Another bob. Oh, let's do it this way. And same with this big fella. Let's get him out of the picture once and for all. They are so annoying. Now, did I check my nursey out? Where is there? She is. Anything good? Oh, you. Okay, they're playing hard to get this time. Oh, but we'll take the mouldy bread. I may as well take the window as well. And let's just have a quick look. This is going to be a pretty laid-back episode, folks. Hopefully. Um, we'll see whether the game has other ideas. What are you doing down there? Just kind of hanging about? Okay, so hopefully we won't have anything turning up too soon and we'll get these farms into place. So the way I like to farm is I'm lazy um, and I prefer to lay down large rows so that I can just go through in one big hoovering movement uh, and see how we go. So I find that the easiest way to do that is to actually lay down a, um, a line to work from. So we've got 64 um, wooden frames here and I'm just going to very quickly lay these down through here and of course you move just a little bit too fast when you're at normal walking pace so let's crouch down and do it this way instead I'm not sure exactly what the dimensions of the front length of my house are uh, but I'm gonna go insane if I don't center the farm so we may as well do that and that looks like the edge line is right there so let's pop that in place we've got 26 left over which means we should be able to go 13 in each direction Go 
because honestly speaking, trying to count while you're hoeing um, to get the count right is just a pain. So let's get these laid down as well. go so I actually needed to go a little bit wider when I was trimming the grass now that I've done all of that I'm going to pick these up again and the main reason for that is so that I can do this come back over to oi uh, I've been playing other games so now my key controls are all out of order again we're going to go down this way I'm not going to bother breaking that stuff I'm just going to like oh I have to break it don't I okay let's do it not with a pickaxe. Break the grass, thanks. And sticks. Here we go. Right, so let's finish this off here. This is just so that I can hoe quickly. I'm going to go up the other end, pick these up along the way. May as well stand up. And farming in seven days, um, when you're laying down your plots, it can throw you a little bit. Um, it's fine once you get your head around how it works but initially it does seem to do some weird things so let's just throw these ones down here as well okay so now I know that my row should be 64 long that should be enough so when you're hoeing and this is where it can get a little bit tricky so let's grab our hoe I've repaired it up and we'll maybe grab a drink and get ourselves in good condition so when you start hoeing you hoe the ground and when you hoe it will try to form a line so if I hoe over here I can uh, if I'm careful get it to hoe in a 45 degree line like that uh, and it tries to line up so that can throw you off a little bit when you first start out so I'm going to lay my first line down here uh, and I generally tend to again go into crouch mode because then you can just slide back and work your way along and you should be fine you should get a nice clean row the other thing that you've got to watch out for when you're hoeing is that the game actually likes to leave a gap between the rows so if we for example try to hoe here it's going to put a bend into it and throw everything out of order so we've actually got to come back here to straighten that back up again so as long as we keep our rows one apart and uh, we'll get nice clean straight lines without too much mucking around and we should back into here hopefully fairly soon we should get to the end and there we go and we'll just pop that one there all right now that should give us 64 now the problem that we've got is crop wise where are they uh, crafting um, I don't have a massive amount of seeds so we're going to have to build up with what we've currently got so I'm going to start um, by laying down um, the lowest crop in the game which is generally the potatoes um, and then we'll work from there uh, so the potatoes are only going to allow us oops hang on a sec let's just quickly potatoes thank you let's lay these down and again uh, there's a couple of tricks you've got to watch out for the game can be extremely derpy at times and if you're not careful um, similar with the spike problem you can end up placing things where they, you don't want them to go and one of the worst things you can end up doing is actually placing crops 
in the air at which point they will then fall down and break and early in the game when you don't have a lot of stuff that's probably the last thing that you want to do so again what I found is is that if you're crouched you can generally place and slide backwards and they will end up where they need to be now we're going to have to um, increase the crop uh, out of this so we're going to need to go through a few growth cycles or find some more potatoes and uh, I do have everything I need here if I'm correct let's just do a quick double check okay we're going to go with corn last uh, we'll put the blueberries next to the corn um, and uh, in fact I think we'll put the cotton over next to the corn and then the golden rod and the coffee is going to be next here so I'm not going to bore you I'm actually going to sit down and hoe these out and lay this out for you and then we'll come back but just so I can show you what we were talking about here so you can just see um, in there that's the middle row so you've got to come over one further and then if you lay down your next row you'll get your nice even rows between okay and I've got six crops so I'm basically going to have to come over and lay down oops oops six rows like this and that's one two three four so we're going to have to come back a bit further I think I've given myself enough room here so what did we say that was four and then again we've got to leave that little gap five and the final row should be this one right here and I'll work my way down so I'll be back shortly once we've got this all laid out and we've got the crops uh, actually planted out see you soon okay so we've got our first crop down um, I've also made up a few hay bales just to uh, mark the ends of the rows uh, hay bales are useful for a couple of reasons firstly like uh, frames you can pick them up and place them down again uh, they're made fairly easily you just need uh, four grass in a square uh, in fact there we go just like so and that gives you a hay bale um, they are not very strong they'll be broken easily by zombies um, but that doesn't really matter in this particular circumstance but the biggest uh, thing about hay bales that makes them useful is the fact that they negate fall damage so if you need to have a high drop somewhere you can place some hay bales on the ground and you can quite happily leap to your heart's content so what have we got down here it's probably worth having a look at the different crops because it is important um, we've got the potatoes obviously and potatoes are one of I would consider the critical crops in the game because potatoes not only can uh, be carried around in a stack um, if they've been cooked up on a grill and be a good general purpose food they're required for some of the more involved meals like uh, rabbit and um, venison stew as well as vegetable stew uh, and uh, yeah, you definitely want to get as much of that into you as you possibly can because it also helps increase your wellness well coffee that's pretty straightforward the coffee gives you that stamina boost and keeps you running all day so you want to get that down uh, blueberries are actually surprisingly good because blueberries can be mixed with corn and a few other bits and pieces to make blueberry pie which is a fairly healthy decent food um, the only downside to it is is that it uses up uh, water and eggs but at the same token um, it uses half the amount of eggs that you use to make bacon and eggs um, so it's a good way to stretch your eggs out now obviously here we have got the crikey brain's gone completely uh, dead goldenrod uh, and you're definitely going to want a decent supply of that cotton not so important but it is important as far as 
being able to make cloth that you can use for um, a few different repairs but most importantly gun repair kits which are actually pretty important because the gun repair kit or the weapon repair kit all right the recipe for that is cloth fragments the oil that you find scattered around and metal fragments and each one of those will repair 40 points of damage to a weapon so for something like our shotgun at the moment which is currently at 156 out of 250 that's going to give us 80 points worth of repair on that and bring it back almost to full and uh, that's definitely something we want and then finally we've got the corn and the corn itself can actually be boiled up with water which is particularly wasteful but it can be mixed with the potatoes uh, in the various stews as well as the blueberries uh, and very importantly corn can be used to make grain alcohol and grain alcohol is an ingredient for both med kits and for making up uh, gas uh, and that's something that we're going to have to look at later is a renewal su renewable supply of fuel so we want plenty of corn so as it stands now we've got this all down and it's going to um, uh, take a while to grow and I'm probably going to have to re-harvest and replant so just one little bit of advice which goes in the vein of do what I say don't do what I do I highly recommend that when you get your initial crops and you're just starting out the first place that you set up just throw down a little farm somewhere and get these into the ground so that you've already got a decent supply for when you settle down assuming that you play the game settle down um, but you want to have a, a decent uh, supply and a decent farm growing or a few scattered patches around now most of these crops uh, or some of these crops anyway uh, are hard to, to get early on in the game um, potatoes you're really looking for loot uh, corn depends upon where you start it does grow in the wild but you've got to find the right biome um, so quite often you will be without it for a while so you want to get that down early cotton and goldenrod well they're everywhere so they're not that big a deal uh, coffee on the other hand that one is another one that can be problematic so you definitely want to get that down as soon as you possibly can and the blueberries on the other hand the blueberries have only got a small amount of but we can actually do something about them and I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to do something about that today so I've got plenty of space and if we have a look at the map we should be able to see that down where was it where was it over this way here which is right out past that town and over up here which looks like it's going to be a bit closer we've got some snow so what I think we will do is we'll go for a bit of a run and because we're going to be away from town uh, we're not going to be causing too much attention uh, we can play with our shotgun and not be quite so stealthy so I do need to make sure I've got food drink painkillers um, health and various other bits and pieces I might pop a vitamin now because the vitamins do work to increase your wellness so let's get one of those into us now and we'll top up our food levels while we're at it and uh, we'll hold off on the drink until our stamina starts to drop a little so let's just head through here and I am going to be uh, fairly open with what I'm up to so I'm going to be attracting a lot of zombies which means that um, I may as well grab as much meat as I can from what I come across while we're playing so we'll take this one out and I know I can hear somebody coming at me so let's just grab this quickly and back up 
and we'll take this girl out and I do want to destroy that carcass because the carcasses create a heat signature which attracts zombies and we're not that far from home here really so let's just do that these fellas here we don't need to worry about that's one of the cliffs that we were I think that is the cliff that we were mining before so let's just make sure we're on track yes we are so let's just keep rolling because we've got the snow just up here so we'll have a little bit of a scout around because snow means blueberries they grow natively in the snowy areas um, so we can get a supply and top our levels up I hear you now one thing we do want to watch out for though is in the snow you are going to find hello Dale oh look we got food over there let's get here, oh hang on stay still you rotter, give me that shot got it let's take this fella out and this one too that's a screamer so sooner or later we're going to have some serious problems from these guys and I'll show you what I mean probably in a future episode unless we uh, have a little event pop up that's unexpected nothing there nothing there I don't really need the bits and pieces now it's just habit uh, where's the carcass gone and there's another one over there so let's get that quickly before it moves away alright now I'm not too worried about carcasses this far away from home so we will just search this one grab our meat and move on this is going to give us a good supply of long term food so it's good that the um, hunting has been good while we've been out today but it is also going to give us some fun and games okay so that's 18 venison already which is pretty decent if we can find a few pigs then that would be even better so let's get over onto the other side over here now this is where oh is that a nurse I just can't resist the nurses yeah but they just never give me what I need alright so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to duck over here into the oi you nobody wants to play with you don't need the torch uh, now in the snowy biomes the snow's new for me I haven't spent a lot of time in the snow um, and there are frozen zombies which I've never played with before um, and the fact that we're carrying meat around means that we're going to be attracting attention but this was lucky this was exactly what we were looking for blueberries so that's a good crop already got to keep my ears open for the frozen zombies because apparently they're tougher than normal so I've got to be careful I don't know exactly how much damage they do but I have heard that they can be a little bit rough and ragged so we'll see how we go so what have we got there so we just picked up 48 blueberries off the bat we had six so that's 54 we still need about eight more each blueberry crafts directly in a one-to-one -one ratio to seed so we'll get them crafting while we're moving around and we'll just have a quick squiz down this way and see if we can find ourselves a few more now apparently there are ski lodges in the snowy areas I'm not sure where they are I'm gonna guess they're probably up on the higher slopes but they might be on the roads as well um, we've got pine trees and I can hear one now yeah there's that creaking sound 
and you can see the way they move as well they're definitely very very frozen so that's a lumberjack All right, I don't know what they carry is this one the same? No, this one's slightly different. It's a bit hard to see. The lighting's not real good at the moment. All right. But we won't muck around with them because I don't really want to take the risk of getting too much here. Whoa, okay. Let's just make sure. Oh, that was straight over his head. That was a pitiful shot. Okay. I want to find another one of those and see how many of those shots missed. Okay, so we got iron pipe and just some paper, nothing exciting. So that was a frostbitten worker and a frigid hunter. And I'm not sure what other types are around here. Let's move our way along a little bit more. We want to keep our eyes open for uh, a few more blueberries and anything else interesting that might be around uh, and a wabbit oh he just stuck behind that tree where is he up there yep there he is let's get him now yeah, well can we take this fellow out with a headshot I wonder if he bounces around like that we won't. There we go. Oh, he zigged at exactly the wrong time. Okay, they bounce up and down a little bit, don't they? Alright, first things first, let's go get that rabbit before it despawns. The other thing you've got to watch out for, by the way, in these snowy areas, is there is a lot of these low trees and it is really easy to walk face first into some of these frozen walkers so we really do need to be careful so let's just look at the way they bounce around okay he went down with a single headshot and that was a worker so that was the same some nails and some wood that's pretty boring I know there was another one around here this fella down here whoa Why is it so dark? Okay, I need to run. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear, <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way. Why so dark? Is it like a blizzard or a snowstorm? Oh, and I am. I'm going the wrong way. Oh crap. This is not good. I don't know how I lost track of time. Well, looks like we're going to finish this episode with some excitement. I completely lost track of time then. I think it was the snow. We have to be really careful we don't run out of hydration here. Or we're in a big problem. And I don't have time to switch and see whether I've got coffee. Now, have I run too far? No, this is where the road bends. We're not too far from home. The question is, though, the next drink that we take... Uh, yeah, the next drink that we take... Let's head into the trees away from this guy. Okay, let's see if we've got a little bit of a buffer. I'm going to have to get down low and because I don't want to attract their attention okay okay I got out of sight so, oh shh oh whoa okay uh, I'm sensed I don't have any coffee I gotta get up and I gotta run oh no I don't want to be oh I'm in trouble guys okay yeah, I'm in serious trouble here because I am bleeding and I've lost direction. 
So I'm going around and around in circles. Uh, I need to heal. And to heal, I need to get that bloody healing pack back on my bar, which I don't have. Do it. Run, 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 before you bleed out. Home is... Oh, dear. And now... What else can I do? Can I... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, that's one dead. Can I get down out of sight? Quickly. Oh, I'm sensed. I'm sensed. And I can't see. I'm undetected. I'm sensed. Undetected. Sensed. I need to look at the map. I need to know how close to home I am. It's right over here. just got to stay down until we can get over the roof I can hear hornets and I'm spotted now we got to run Wow my stamina just disappeared then come on come on we just got to get upstairs we can do this we can do this stamina's almost gone but I can take a few hits Oh boy, okay, let's, oh, let's fall down, uh, because that's what we do. Why? Why does it not jump? Seriously. I don't know why that happens. Oh, and that's a dog. I don't know why I am having so much trouble jumping. It can't be pure derp, surely. Alright, so I'm sensed, and of course I'm sensed because I'm carrying meat. <laughs> so no wonder they were tracking me down. Alright. Okay, so, so much for that confidence, and that shows how quickly things can go astray. Let's get some food in our belly. I really don't want to eat the, um, the bacon if I can avoid it, so let's do this quickly. Alright, so... And it's 7 o'clock in the morning already. They've slowed back down. What is it? Why did time seem to go so quickly? I'm going to have to check my settings. Something doesn't seem right. Okay, we've got a horde over there. It's just a little one. They'll wander through. It's not we're not due for a seven day horde oh but we've got dogs and hornets I need to be careful um, we could have some fun and games but guess what we're going to have to find out about those fun and games in the next episode because I think it's time to call this one uh, so I will see you guys next time until then take care of each other everybody and ciao for now